If you want to get upgraded to first or business class, the chances are very, very slim if you're not a loyalty member. However, it's not impossible. I talk about this in one of my videos, ways to realistically get upgraded to first class. But today I wanted to talk about one tip that seems to be going around the internet and a lot of like travel experts and travel magazines are saying this is one of the best ways to increase your chances of getting upgrade. And that is bringing chocolates or gifts to the flight crew. It is not gonna get you an upgrade. This is crazy, 1000% untrue. It is the biggest lie in travel. It's crazy talk. Before I tell you why it's not gonna get you an upgrade, don't forget to subscribe below and check out my other content. I bring you a lot of great tips in travel. Travel, 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 travel. So if you know me, you know how I feel about people giving that tip about bringing chocolates or gifts or whatever to the flight attendant, to the gate agent, to the check-in agent, it doesn't work. I'm not telling you not to bring chocolates and gifts to those employees that work for an airline. Do it, make their day, make them happy. They deserve it. They work with some crazy, weird passengers every day. Just don't do it if you think it's going to help increase your chances of getting upgrade. Now, this method may have worked back in the 80s or the 90s, pre 9-11. It does not work now. The rules for getting an upgrade are incredibly strict and everything is based on algorithm. So first, I should just let you know, loyalty members are the ones that are gonna get the upgrades first. And there are a lot of loyalty members out there. And there are not a lot of seats in first and business class, so do the math. Your chances of being upgraded if you're not a loyalty member are very slim. Loyalty members spend thousands and thousands of dollars flying with a particular airline, so Airlines like to reward them with many different perks and benefits. Among them is being upgraded to first class. There's not even a lot of available seats to upgrade you to. And even by the time you even get to the airport to check in, all those seats are gonna be taken. So people who are elite members with an airline, and then people who are using their miles to upgrade to first class or business class, and then people who paid full fare for an economy ticket, those people are first in line. They're the first ones that are gonna get upgrades, not someone who brings chocolates. I wanna point out, this is not conjecture, it's not a theory, this is algorithm. It's just how upgrades happen. The computers dictate it. And employees are not gonna risk being fired for somehow moving you up the line to get an upgrade over an elite member. So I should also point out that an elite member who spends thousands of dollars with an airline is not gonna lose their upgrade to someone who brought chocolates to a gate agent. So, okay, let's talk about like check-in. When you check in and you bring chocolates or a gift, you'll probably get like a really big smile and a thank you, but you're not gonna get put on an upgrade list. Like there's no way. Like I said, the rules are very strict and a check-in agent is not gonna lose their job because you brought them chocolate. Secondly, a flight attendant is the lowest person on the totem pole to actually approve upgrades or give out upgrades. The only way this is possible is if there is the rare instance that something is wrong with your seat and there are literally no other seats in economy class, then yes, maybe you will be upgraded to first class. And that's actually called an operational upgrade. All upgrade requests have to go through a chain of command anyway. Um, it would have to go to the head flight attendant or the purser, and they would have to deem whether there's a very good reason to upgrade you or not, and chocolates is really not gonna do it. Because if you think about everyone else that's waiting for that upgrade or on that upgrade list, or if there's an elite member who happens to see someone from economy getting upgraded, and they're like, wait, I literally was next in line. What's going on here? Come on, like flight attendants are not gonna lose their job over you bringing chocolates. You might get free drink tickets though. What will bringing chocolates and gifts do? Hot, it will get you noticed. You will be the recipient of appreciation. Maybe the flight attendant will smuggle a sandwich from first class back to you. Those are the things that could happen. Also think about it. Like if you bring chocolates to a flight attendant hoping to get an upgrade, the first and business class seats are pretty much already full. When was the last time you flew a domestic route 
when there was an empty seat available in first in business. It doesn't happen often. So not only is the flight attendant the lowest person on the totem pole to get, to get you an upgrade, logistically they are the last person you would want to do it to. You would want to give it to the gate agent to try your, to increase your chances or the check-in agent. Remember there is a chain of command. There has to be an upgrade request for you specifically and there has to be a very good reason uh, for you to be upgraded. For international flights, it's a little different, but it's a lot harder to get an upgrade. If you bring chocolates to a check-in agent for an international flight, hoping to get an upgrade, the check-in agent will likely smile, accept it, and say, let me see what I can do. If, however, you are flying economy, you are bringing chocolates and gifts to get upgraded to first class, and you are an elite member of the airline, and you paid a lot for your ticket. Yes, that might help. But the fact that you paid a lot for your ticket and your elite member trumps the fact that you brought chocolates. These days, airlines monetize everything, like from premium economy seats, your luggage that you're checking. I mean, come on, like in the 90s? No, it wasn't like this at all. So that's why it was kind of easier to get upgrades if you flirted with a check-in desk and brought chocolates and complimented them and dressed nice and all those other outdated tips that some people will give you these days, but it's just not true and it doesn't, it's not accurate. So it's the main reason I made this video is because I feel like this tip of bringing chocolates and gifts is so misleading. So again, you can bring chocolates, you can bring gifts, but don't expect to be upgraded. Do it to be nice, to, you know, make the airline check-in person's day or the flight attendant, like just to like show her or him your appreciation. That's why you should bring chocolates and gifts, not to try to get, not to increase your chances for an upgrade, uh, because it doesn't work. I don't know if you remember this, but this was going viral on Twitter. There was a guy who tweeted to an airline, every seat in premium economy was open while he was booking coach and they wouldn't let him sit in one of those seats. So he sent a tweet and he was angry. He's like, I can't believe you wouldn't let me sit in one of these seats. That's, I'm outraged. And the airline responded, if you go into a car dealership and you bought a Ford, you're not gonna drive off the lot in a Lexus. I love that analogy. Employees of an airline are not going to give you a $5,000 seat you paid $200 for because you brought them chocolate. You have to be a loyalty member and you have to spend a lot of money with an airline. I offer a lot more tips in this other video on four realistic ways to get upgraded to first class and many other tips in my other videos. So please subscribe, that would be great. So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Great, okay. Thanks for visiting. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, great. Bye-bye.